What is up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. I am your host, Radoslav. Today, we're going to be picking back up with the uh, character known as Leon Black, who I did a story on, uh, or video on, excuse me, back about a month ago regarding his financial ties to Jeffrey Epstein. Now, we looked at how Leon Black, even after Jeffrey Epstein was found guilty in Florida back in 2008 and served some time, uh, got a ridiculously um, kind and, uh, you know, forgiving deal from uh, Acosta, which is uh, something that Acosta should answer for, in my opinion. But nevertheless, uh, we're going to put that on the back burner for now. Leon Black continued to do business with Jeffrey Epstein. And when he was asked about it, we covered how he talked about, oh, I was asking him advice and paying him money to give me advice on tax law and, and my estate and how to do all these, you know, technical financial things. Things, which Jeffrey Epstein had no expertise in, by the way. Um, but nevertheless, he paid this guy over $50 million to get his advice on estate law and tax law, when you can hire forensic accountants to do that much better and, and financial advisors, that, that will not cost you $50 million. That will probably cost you overall less than $5 million if you wanted to actually hire experts to get this done. But that that is very fishy because that means that he wasn't actually looking for advice on a state line and tax law because there are much cheaper and better experts you can hire to get that done. Okay, so that's why to me that that sends off um, um, you know alarm bells when you when somebody pays somebody fifty million dollars and they can't really explain it other than bro broadly saying oh he was giving me advice on state law and tax law and that's that was his excuse and I read you I read you guys the um, the letter that Leon Black sent to his shareholders, which was hilarious and proved that he doesn't really care about any of the horrible stuff that Jeffrey Epstein did. He was just trying to save his company's ass. Okay, and I'll link that video in the top right-hand corner if you want to check that out. Now, yesterday, on October, November 1st, excuse me, um, an ex excellent article was written by um, somebody at the New York Post, Josh Kosman. The modern museum, the Museum of Modern Art, supporting Chairman Leon Black despite ties to Jeffrey Epstein. Now, this article has some uh, gems and it proves everything that I always say about these Wall Street people, these capitalist people who care about money more than human life, who value money above everything else, which is a very bad way to uh, set up society. Human life is exchanged for money. Uh, women are traded like commodities. This is the kind of mentality that allows things like human trafficking and child trafficking to happen. But nevertheless, so this is why it's important to cover this stuff, because we need to change the idea that money is the end-all be-all of life because that's something that's an idea that capitalism has propagated in America and in Europe for for decades now um, I would say more than well I wouldn't say 100 years more than at least the last 50 60 years this is an idea that's ingrained in people's heads and it's something we need to get rid of if we want to have a truly moral society which we do not have now people will literally sell off their own mothers to make money and that's the kind of stuff that these um, these upper echelon capitalist neoliberals will do. And that's exactly what this article proved. These quotes are going to be hilarious. Okay, so this is not my accusation. I'm going to read you guys some quotes from people who are making excuses for Leon Black and in, in uh, extension, Jeffrey Epstein, basically saying that the money is the only thing that really matters to them. They don't really care about the fact that he's related to Jeffrey Epstein. He, the, the guy they interview here, they interviewed here says, I don't really believe that he did anything wrong. Of course not. When there's a lot of money at stake, then you don't really care about the horrible things he might have done, right? So let's. I'm going to read you guys a little, little bit of this. Billionaire Leon Black is being played by questions about his ties to alleged uh, trafficker Jeffrey Epstein everywhere but the Museum of Modern Art, where he is a chairman, the Post has learned. Trustees of the Mid uh, Mid Midtown Manhattan Museum have been reluctant to act on reports that, chairman, that the chairman, Leon Black, since 2018 funneled millions of consulting fees to Jeffrey Epstein for years after he pleaded guilty to child prostitution in 2008, sources said. So the modern, um, modern. Uh, I keep I keep wanting to call it modern museum of art. It's the museum of modern art. Trustees have told the Post they expect the board to address the sticky situation only if it ends up hurting the museum's ability to raise money, or if Black is found to have engaged in wrongdoing, which he vehemently denies. So they're basically saying they're basically ignoring all the um, alarms, uh, uh, the red flags here because they he gives he funnels them millions of dollars a year okay or he has funneled millions of dollars over the years when he was um, a board member there so let me read you guys some quotes here one trustee uh, one trustee said he believes uh, the founder of Apollo Global Management 
when he says he regrets any involvement with Jeffrey Epstein, who killed himself in prison, blah, blah, blah. Um, quote, this is what the guy says. Leon's been extremely good to the museum, and he takes his work seriously. End quote. The trustees said of Black, who donated tens of millions to the well-heeled museum before being named its chairman. Highfalutin labels. These labels that get people, you know, parties thrown in their name, they're bought by money. They're not because he's a good artist or he has great taste or any of these other things that might have to do with merit, which is what the capitalists always claim. Oh, they made millions of dollars because they deserve it, bro. If you if you make millions of dollars, that's because you deserve it too. This has nothing to do with deserving. This has nothing to do with talent. This has to do with the fact that all the adoration that he got was because he was able to pay these people off. It's not because he had any real actual talent when it comes to the, the, the Museum of Art, the, uh, the Museum of Modern Art, frack, okay? A second trustee said, quote, the news about Leon and Epstein is a bit surprising. Oh, really? Before uh, predicting that the museum's uh, stewards will let the scandal play out. I suppose for the moment, people, the um, Museum of Modern Art trustees will not do anything. I think it will play itself out in the press and in the investigations, the trustees said. Oh, that's a fair statement. Um, but nevertheless, letting things play out means that you automatically assume that um, Leon Black, it's not suspicious at all that he gave $50 million to a guy who was convicted of solicit soliciting a minor back in 2008. So that's weird. Uh, when Black took over the modern, uh, the Museum of Modern Art chairman role in 2018, he vowed to not cause trouble and live up to his predecessor, Real estate mogul Jerry Speyer, so, uh, sources said, live up, okay. Black even put the promise to song in July 2018 in the form of a rap he performed for his new art uh, pals at the uh, palatial, renaissance-styled four-story townhouse he owns in the Upper East Side. So he basically say, uh, sang people a song about how he's going to be, I'm not even going to try to sing this, uh, um, but nevertheless, uh, it's hilarious. The guests were enjoying pre-dinner drinks in the living room when Black handed out sheets of paper containing lyrics. He then stood opposite Edward Munch's painting, The Scream, quote-unquote, that's the painting's name, for which he paid $125 million in 2012 to perform. A pianist accompanied him, quote, you know we've been lucky to entrust it with Spare. You know that dude builds things higher and higher, uh, Black sang. So this is his, these are his lyrics. I'm, I'm reading it to you guys because I am not going to sing, okay? Some of the Museum of Modern Art trustees exchanged glances, not knowing what to think as the song continued. A few uh, sang along, a source said. Uh, this is further lyrics. And you know when Leon's in charge, you know he'll keep us from disasters because that guy keeps up with all the modern masters. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> so I'm going to skip over these ridiculous lyrics and continue with the story. After the sing-along, the trustees enjoyed a buffet and cookies adorned with the faces of Speyer. Museum of Modern Art didn't re return a request for a comment. Black, through a spokesperson, reiterated his statements disavowing Jeffrey Epstein, including that Black was completely unaware and continues to be appalled by the conduct that led to Epstein's 2019 arrest. The 69-year-old financier and avid art collector has been under pressure to explain his Epstein ties since the pervy money manager was uh, charged last year with exploit was exploiting uh, dozens of underage girls as young as 14 for sex between 2002 and 2005. The U.S. Virgin Islands District Attorney, in investigating allegations that Epstein brought hundreds of young women to the private island located in the territory, has filed for subpoenas aimed at Black. She also filed a subpoena uh, on on fellow trustee, trustee Glenn Dubin. He's also part of the Museum of Modern Art and financier's wife, Eva Anderson Dubin, who were pals with Jeffrey Epstein. The couple has also denied wrongdoing. Of course they have. The pressure mounted last month when the New York Times reported that Black funneled some 50 million in consulting fees to Epstein between 2012 and 2017, well after the 2008 conviction uh, prose and prose prosecution and conviction back in Florida, he has said he uh, he paid Epstein for tax advice and estate planning, like I said, and that Apollo never did any business. That's him trying to cover his business's ass. The 300 and 
312 billion firm is now independently independently investigating the relationship in hopes of putting in, uh, investors at ease. That's hilarious. I'm sure they're going to find all kinds of criminality when they're investigating their own boss. Hilarious. Experts say they would recommend Museum of Modern Art's board to consider protecting itself from any potential fallout, including by asking Black to take a leave of absence. <laughs> That's the first thing you should have done to cover your ass, but they're so stupid. Or they actually believe in Black and want to uh, stick by him, maybe because it's more profitable for them, because he's giving them a lot of money. Quote, one could imagine a situation where Black says, quote, all I did was make a foolish decision, but for the time being, I'm willing to step off as a member of the board. And quote, said Richard Marker, expert on philanthropic ethics. How do I become an expert in that? And founder of the Institute for Wise Philanthropy, an advisory group, quote, that would be a reasonable response. No, it would not. Okay, so the bottom line here is that these so-called, these are people who would say, oh, we are with the victims 100%. But when it comes to them losing some money, because they, they they continue to want to be associated with Black, despite the fact that he has some fishy ties to Jeffrey Epstein, People who, these neoliberals, all these people are voting for Joe Biden, by the way, and they think they're all good people who are all liberal and for freedom and, you know, are on the women's side. They're all feminists. But nevertheless, when it comes to actually standing up for women, capitalism comes first. Their bank accounts come first. Their donors come first. Money comes before human life. That is the immoral nature of capitalism. Okay. And anybody who is a real Christian, who claims to be a real Christian, cannot be a capitalist and a Christian at the same time, human life, we, Christians are supposed to value human life, not market capitalization, not market penetration, not profits, not money, human life first. So that's what's hilarious to me, all the people who think that they're Christians, and at the same time, they, can, they think they can be capitalists. There's no such thing as good capitalism. Capitalism by its very nature is vile and immoral. Okay, and anybody who has a clue about how the world works will eventually come to realize that. If people don't, that's okay. It took me a while too. I was a, I was a, you know, a ignorant capitalist for a long time. I thought that capitalism could be fixed. There is no fixing capitalism. It is designed to crush working class people and to enrich the people who are already rich. People like Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein was a proud capitalist. That's who you stand with if you are a capitalist. Leon Black, another proud capitalist. The people at the Museum of Modern Art. Proud capitalists, neoliberals. They think markets are the only thing that matters. Money is the only thing ma that matters. The, I would run screaming the other in the other direction if I was ever associated with Leon Black. But Leon Black, even after Jeffrey Epstein was found guilty, he still gave him millions of dollars. No morals. Money is all that matters. Even if he wasn't directly involved with any of the abuse of Jeffrey Epstein, I would run it screaming in the other direction away from Jeffrey Epstein after he was found guilty because I don't want to be associated with people like that because I don't care how much money I'm making. Morality comes first. Okay? I'm not going to be associated with people who are soliciting minors for prostitution. No, thank you. Okay? But Leon Black has no problem with it. The Museum of Modern Art has no problem with it. Like, what do you mean, bro? I'm making all kinds of cash. It's just like Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank also did a background check on Jeffrey Epstein, found out that he was found guilty. But they're like, I can, I, we can make $300 million a year from this guy. So no, I'm not going to report him. And they, they uh, opened a bank account for him, Deutsche Bank. Disgrace. Um, it's a disgrace to Germany, by the way. They should change the name from Deutsche Bank to something else. You should not call it the German bank. But anyways, <laughs> I digress. But you guys see my point. Money before human life, that is capitalism. It is immoral. And anybody with any kind of moral uh, compass would not be part of this system. And I'm not. All right. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And if you want to check out my Patreon to support my work, you can do so up here. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and consider some of the ideas I present in my videos. If you appreciate my evidence-based, non-partisan approach to reporting legal and political news, please consider supporting me on Patreon. 
My long-term goal on this channel is to get to a point where I can do news analysis full-time. Grassroots funding is the best way for independent news reporters to remain uncorrupted by corporate influences. Even if you can only afford $1 a month, those dollars add up in the aggregate, and it will be much appreciated by me. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace.